Tony V-Line has sacked its CEO in a growing corruption scandal over claims he took hundreds of thousands of dollars in secret payments from a cleaning company. That company's contract has also been terminated after it was revealed that it cut corners when it came to cleaning trains at the height of the COVID pandemic, leaving passengers exposed. Returning home with $10,000 cash in August, James Pinder was about to be raided. Anti-corruption investigators uncovered the dirty money. His explanation it came from gambling winnings had not been accepted. He's accused of receiving more than $300,000 in kickbacks from TransClean in return for cleaning contracts. Three days of questioning at Victoria's anti-corruption watchdog, Mr Pinder has been sacked. The alleged conduct of both Mr Pinder and TransClean is not acceptable to V-Line under any circumstances. The cleaning company's contract has also been terminated. Amid the COVID pandemic, personal greed overtook public safety on our trains. The state is paying you more now to do more work which you're not doing. It was being paid an extra $1.3 million a month to clean carriages, work that wasn't done. I get the point, Peter, but you've got to cover up for us. You've got to cover up for us as well. Are you taking the f***ing piss out of me? I've got to cover up. What do you think I f***ing do every day? The Metro manager has admitted receiving around $150,000 in kickbacks from TransClean. He also gave them warnings about surprise audits. Peter Bollas was given $20,000 cash in his final payment from George Haritos three months ago. In exchange, he provided Haritos with inside information on the state of Metro's finances. TransClean's George Haritos has given evidence that he did pay the sacked boss gambling winnings, claiming that he usually won two quadrillas a month. Well, all my winnings were based on quadrillas. Winnings that have led to a lost job, a lost contract and possible criminal charges. Cameron Bowe, 7 News.